Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, welcome to another of Hawaiian Shirt Papa tours of a, in this case, a Salvation Army thrift store. This one's located on Upper James in Hamilton. As uh, this one's a, not as not a particularly large store, um, they're interesting system of sort of racking. I've seen it in a few of their other stores, but far from all of them having the same type. Uh, clear plastic panel on top of a wire rack. Um, they do group them in colors, as uh, is typical, even in the clothing. So they, all the, say, blue clothes are in one section, then they switch to, say, the green. That's right, that's correct, and the horse you rode in on. Uh, if you don't know the uh, first part of that, uh, uh, I'll let you look it up on your own. Oh, I really should have picked these uh, classic tourist pieces for Arizona. They look like they would have been uh, early travelers, um, probably automobile, and I'm guessing 40s, 50s. Ah, uh, possibly early 60s, but they were definitely vintage, and I really regret not having picked them up. Yeah, they've got the electronics, electrical stuff grouped with black. So you see fry pans and stuff mixed in there. Um, it's an interesting idea. Uh, it does work. It works for them, obviously. Um, and once you've got their mindset, it's not such a bad deal. You can just head for the color that you're usually looking for, and you, you'll you'll do fine. Uh, bins of wires. I just hope they did separate them from the objects that actually use them. Ceramics, porcelain. In this section. Oh, those were some sort of toys, a little statuary, again, grouped along here. You can see the groupings are quite, quite dramatic, and they do bring things together. And here we've headed into the, some like sporting goods, and then they have the art that goes around the whole store this is the one half of one end of the store only in this case there was one section i didn't get to see it the initial walkthrough uh there were too many people in that particular aisle so i just go back a bit afterwards interesting hat why it's in this area well people move it around Staff just stick it somewhere close by. They get their uh, items from the warehouse. I think the warehouse is in Oakville. They come in those um, bins, palleted bins. A little picnic set. A cast iron fry pan. don't need any more but I always check uh, not a terrible price it looks like it was one of the ones that would have been installed into a coal or wood burning cast iron stove because of the ring on the underside it would have kept it in they, they took off one of the flat 
rings off the stove and it would sit into that position so it wouldn't slide around if you were mixing or working with it. You could turn it, of course, but you just couldn't uh, slide it across the top of the stove willy-nilly. Ah, yes. An old, a, a classic diner or restaurant coffee. And we lucked out in finding a contender for a Hawaiian shirt. Uh, they're not all Hawaiian shirts because they're not all made in Hawaii. Sometimes they're only designed in Hawaii. But very often you'll see that they're made by American Eagle, The Gap, Old Navy. I don't consider them real Hawaiian shirts. I found one where it was designed in Hawaii, made in Indonesia. That's, that would be on the low end of matters. And here we go. We've got another contender. But that's all it was. It was a contender. Some more contenders. This is an interesting one. George. Walmart's house brand. So... And another one that's just a contender. You have to go through a lot of items some to call the ones that might be. Sometimes you'll find some Hawaiian shirt inspired shorts, dresses, and swim swimmer here we've got some ba uh, women's bags most of them had some condition issues uh, others they just weren't of value otherwise and then we have our lps very similar bin for the lps to other stores some stores have got lots of those the last couple i've shown you have got uh, just a single bin not as many LPs around, I guess. Around the up, up top, as uh, continue the collection of artwork. Lingree for women. Lingerie, of course. Reminds me of the elevator ride. Here we got across the store view wasn't particularly busy the time we were visiting here. I was here with uh, Westwood Avenue, the uh, shoes, and we're up near the front where the showcases, they have auctions. Uh, I don't know if they were rest had restarted the auctions. This was an interesting globe. It was a bar. I thought it was a bit pricey for what it is. I liked it, but price wasn't a, a match so it was quite steep in fact in my opinion uh, there's a classic flash unit for a flash bulb now there's some balls for uh, playing on a Billiard table, pool table. I'm not. I don't play that game, so I wouldn't know. Some, a couple of interesting globes. I think they are. Oh, they are book, bookends. And this is inside the jewelry case, nicely marked. And they do sales on certain colors. Well that's the end of that tour i'd hope you'll consider subscribing and marking the bell so you get notified i've for at least a little while i've been putting out a video once every day from monday to friday i started it at 5 p.m but i've shifted to a 9 a.m start thanks <laughs>